Welcome my old school soul food family, Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Alright y'all, as you see by the by the title there, I'm going to take y'all along on my meet and greet here in Katy. It is Friday afternoon and it's about, what time is it? Exactly 5.30. Just got home from work. Matter of fact, I got a cake in the oven, but it's not a Friday night cake of the week. It's for my meet and greet. I have a lot of things to do, and I haven't even started on the food. And I'm going to take y'all along, kind of, how I do my, when I do cater. But this is a special kind of catering I'm doing, because I'm catering for myself. And uh, I have certain standards, certain criteria that I do when I cater. And I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do this, and how this thing's going to come together. Uh, let me give y'all the menu here. And of course, if you're watching this after the, meet and greet you'll know what the menu was already but I got uh this is what I need to cook in the next 24 hours to have all this stuff cooked and ready to go at six o'clock tomorrow afternoon when my meet and greet uh starts I got uh what I got here I'm having barbecue brisket barbecue ribs so I'm gonna smoke outside and my electric smoke I'm gonna program and let it go I got meaty baked beans I'm gonna have lemon baked chicken I'm going to have chicken and dumplings. I'm going to have glazed sweet potatoes and yams, macaroni and cheese. That's going to be the protein or the entree. And the desserts, I got four desserts. I'm going to have German chocolate cake, pineapple cake, banana pudding, and peach cobbler. That's going to be all the desserts. So when I do a catering and stuff, it's all about organization. I'm going to do it all in my house. I'm going to get it all done. I'm doing this for like maybe 50 people, maybe 60 people. And you got to kind of have a little full overflow if extra people walk in. But it's just like organization. You got to see what I, I, I pretty much organized this a week ago. And I've been trying to, you know, organize what goes first, what goes second. Like tonight, Friday night, I'm going to do all my cake. I'm going to do the pineapple cake, German chocolate cake, peach cobbler tonight. In the morning, first thing I'm going to do is do the banana pudding, put it in the refrigerator. That's done. Desserts are done. Barbecue brisket and ribs gonna be done in the smoker. All I have to do is cool them down, slice them up. That's easy. Macaroni and cheese, very easy. Cheese sauce, macaroni, you see me how I do that. That's very simple. Baked chicken probably gonna take the longest in the oven. And that's gonna be the last. Last two things I'm gonna do is the baked chicken and, the, and chicken and dumplings. Because that need to be hot when it goes over there. And uh, the glazed sweet potatoes. I'll bake the potatoes all probably... It takes about an hour and a half to bake them in the oven. Making the sauce is no big deal. Put them on there, slice and put them in the pan, voila. The desserts, I'm gonna actually cut, put in a little containers so people can pick them up. I'm gonna have my server team serving the entree. And what I do when I do little meet and greet things like this, the plate's gonna be small, so they get small portions. I don't have big plates where people can fill up the plates up. If they want more, they can always come back. That's why I'm very specific on the place. Some people have buffets or things like that. The place are huge and people pile the place up. They don't eat it all, they get wasted. Mine have little plates, put a little food on. If you want more, you're welcome to come back and get more. But there's always a, 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 a plan and how you do it. I know what you just, I write everything down, all the way down to what serving spoons I need. Like I say, what goes first, what goes second, and so on. Also, I have to do how, what kind of cups, what kind of, I have to do to get the sodas, the uh, napkin spoons, all that. I write all that down, even down to the music I'm going to be playing, and mic of wireless mic, the speakers, all that goes into when I do a, a little thing. I, usually I do these for the, uh, my uh, co-workers. I do a little, a couple of, year, couple of times a year, even my friend's house. I do a little catering like that. But I'm going to take y'all along, show y'all the steps and how I do it and how long it takes and how I'm getting along. So right now it is 545 Friday afternoon and I'm going to touch base with you throughout the night and throughout the morning and all through yesterday, tomorrow. Take you to the meet and greet, show you little videos and pictures of people there and how things are going. So just, you know, just ride along. Uh, or sit back and watch and just I'm going to just show you how Old School Soul Food uh, meet and greet goes. And hopefully if you miss this one, you can make the next one that's here in Katy and the one in Dallas. I'm going to try to do the same thing. So anyway, 
Y'all sit tight, and I'll be back in a few hours and show you how it's going along. I got German crock cake in the oven right now. It smells amazing. I'm going to get up and work on my pineapple cake, and we'll go from there. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, let me, I'm back here. I got my pineapple ice in here. Y'all seen me do this video many times. Pineapple ice, and I got my pineapple cake ready. All I got to do is put the icing on it. I finished my German chocolate cake. And y'all see these are big pans. And what I'm going to do tomorrow, after it's set up, in the morning, I'm going to cut them up, put them in little squares, and put them in little containers, which I'll show you later. And I got the pineapple cake here. I got my pot back here. I'm going to make my peach cobbler in. So all that's going to be done tonight before I go to bed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this here while I got y'all on camera. Pour that hot icing over that cake there. What I do, I'll just spray it over there evenly like this, y'all. Look at that. And I'm going to let all that hot icing soak into this cake. And this cake is still warm, too. And that's what's going to make this pineapple cake so awesome tomorrow. And I've told y'all before, pineapple cake is awesome the next day. Because all that nice pineapple is soaked in there. And give it an awesome, awesome, awesome look. There. So yeah, that's done. Pineapple cake is ready. German chocolate cake is ready. Peach cobbler fits to go in the bit to go. And I'll be back once the peach cobbler come out the oven. Those three desserts is ready. I'll do, like I say, I'll do the banana pudding in the morning. Desserts are done. And uh, then I'll, right now, when the peach cobbler come out of the oven at night, I'm going to put my sweet potatoes in and let uh, let them bake for about an hour and a half. So tomorrow, all I got to do is make the glaze for that, put all the sweet potatoes, that's done. So all I got to worry about is the chicken and dumpling and the baked chicken. Of course, the barbecue I'm going to put on here in a couple of hours and let it smoke all night in my electric smoker. I just programmed that and let it go. So this is going to be pretty much fun meet and greet. It's all about organization when you're cooking. I don't have a messy kitchen. Of course, y'all know that. I cook organized and clean, and you can do anything you want in a small space. So anyway, I'll be back once the peach cobbler come out the oven. We'll go from there. See y'all later. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Look at that peach cobbler. Old school peach cobbler, still bubbling. Look at that. Fresh out the oven. So all my desserts are ready except my banana pudding, which I'm going to do in the morning because I want it to be fresh as possible. I don't want to do it the night before and then bananas start turning brown. Or like I say, I got my German chocolate cake. I got my pineapple cake, peach cobbler. And then I got my sweet potato yams here. It's going to go in the oven here for my Candy yams, candy sweet potato. I'm gonna put them in the oven for an hour and a half. We're gonna let them bake off. So the more all I gotta do is peel them, slice them up, throw the glaze on it. And it's all about being organized, y'all. So these three things are ready. Like I said, I got seven, eight things to do for this meeting greet. So anyway, I'll be back uh probably be in the morning when I be back. Cause like I said, this is all I'm gonna do for the night. Get the sweet potatoes in the oven. I'll probably be back once they come out the oven. And then I'm going to call it a night, give me a little rest. Then tomorrow is going to be a lot of heavy cooking. Like I said, I'm going to just put my barbecue on the on the smoker outside, program that for eight hours. That'll be set. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this meet and greet. I'm going to get my other stuff. I got giveaways to give away. I got uh, jellies, jams, preserves, chow chow, my, of course, my shake, my seasoning. I'm giving all that away tomorrow. So, if you missed out, maybe next year, and you'll make me. If I'm in your city, maybe you'll be able to come. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. My sweet potatoes just got out the oven. Look at that nice sweet potatoes here. I'm gonna let them sit on the counter overnight. In the morning, I'll peel them, slice them, put them in the pan. Make my old school sweet potato glaze and put over the top with the butterscotch uh, secret. And then brown sugar, all it is brown sugar, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, and butterscotch. Pour it in over the top, put them back in the oven, heat them up. That's ready. Y'all seen the peach cobbler? I got my pineapple cake I got covered up, German chocolate cake covered up. I'll cut them up tomorrow, put them in the little containers. I got my barbecue outside program in the electric smoker. 
my ribs and brisket. Uh, so tomorrow all I gotta do is make my mac and cheese, uh, my baked chicken, my lemon chicken, and my chicken and dumplings. So all the thing I gotta do tomorrow is three things. So yeah, it's about 10 o'clock at night, and uh, I've got a lot of companies in the last two or three hours here. So yeah, big pan of peas cobbler, homemade German chocolate cake, homemade pineapple cake, and I got my the key was to get these potatoes baked off because they take an hour and a half in the oven. So I don't want to hold my oven up tomorrow baking off potatoes. I got them all baked off ahead of time. That's part of being prepared and organized when you're doing a big function. So anyway, y'all, I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm going to go eat me a little something. I'm going to take me a good night's sleep. I'm going to get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, and we're going to keep this thing going. So anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is, what is it, 7.40 a.m. in the morning. I've been up about two hours, and I left y'all last night. I had did my German chocolate cake, pineapple cake, peach cobbler, had my sweet potatoes baked out of the oven. So I got them peeled slice here for my uh, candy sweet potato. All I got to do is put the uh, glaze on it. I got my banana pudding finished. This was a challenge because I have to do what I'm doing, y'all. I would do more items, but the challenge with me is I'm doubling everything I would do for a regular party if I had at my house. If I was having a function at my house, I'd have 24 different items, maybe 12 desserts and appetizers and stuff like that. But me having to take this stuff and deliver it and set it up, I really limited my menu to just four desserts and four entrees and a couple of starches. So, yeah, I got my barbecue brisket here. I got this, I mean, ribs. Look, I got nice smoked uh, pork barbecue rib. I got me some brisket back here and some barbacoa, which is beef cheeks. I got some of that in there too. So that's gonna be nice, go with the barbecue sauce. Now all I gotta do, like I say, about 8.30, I gotta go pick up my t-shirts from my mailbox. I've been there all week. I just haven't time to get them. And uh, come back, I'm gonna do my mac and cheese. Before I leave, I'm gonna do the glaze for my sweet potatoes. I'm going to do my mac and cheese, which is so simple. All I got to do is boil some macaroni and make a cheese sauce. It takes 30 minutes max. And then the last thing I'm going to do is bake the chicken, put it in the oven, which is the easy lemon baked chicken, and then chicken and dumplings, which is going to be the hardest part. Not really hard, but I got to, you know, I got to cook the chicken off, let it cool, pick it, make the dumplings from scratch, cut them. So that's going to be the, that's going to be pretty much the hard part, difficult part to do. But anyway... I will be back, y'all, maybe once I get to my mailbox. Maybe I'll show y'all my mailbox just to get out of the house here. But I got a long way to go here. I got, it's almost 8 o'clock, so I got 8 hours. And I'm going to get a couple hours of sleep somewhere in between there. Because it's going to be a long day and a long night. But I'm so excited for my Katie meeting greet. So, y'all, thanks for coming along. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. Look at that nice sweet potato glaze. I know y'all seen that. Y'all seen the recipe for this before. If you're not, what have you been? All I'm going to do, y'all, I'll just pour the glaze right on the sweet potato here. The ones in the back. Just got enough glaze on there. And the key is, y'all, just let it soak in there. I'm going to bake it in the oven there. And there it go. Sorry, y'all didn't see that. Look at that. Nice candy yam. Look at that. And like I say, the key is to let it soak in there. And then later, I'm going to warm them back up in the oven, covered about 30, 45 minutes. And it'll be good to go for the meet and greet. So, candy yams are ready. Banana pudding is ready. My barbecue ribs is ready. My barbecue brisket is ready. My barbecue uh, uh, beef is ready. German chocolate cake is ready. Peach cobbler is ready. Pineapple cake is ready. And it is 8 o'clock. So I got to go, like I say, step out here. When I get back, I got three more things to do. Matter of fact, oh, I forgot my meaty baked beans. So that's easy, too. So anyway, y'all, sit along for the ride. I'm going to put this thing together. and hope we got a successful meeting group. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back here. Look, I'm supposed to be, it's 821, y'all, and I'm still here at home. I'm supposed to let at 8 o'clock go to the mailbox. But they don't open to 9, so I figured I got a little bit of time. I'm going to go on and knock this macaroni and cheese out, even though I'm an alcohol, uh, a workaholic, I almost say alcoholic, <laughs> workaholic here, 
And I just, I gotta get this stuff done, and I'm just so, I'm so pumped up, y'all, with adrenaline. That's what I do. Y'all know me when I'm cooking. I love it. So, everything I'm doing today, y'all, and I'll say it again, I'm doubling the recipe of what I would normally do online. Sweet potato, banana pudding, German chocolate cake, pineapple cake, peach cobbler, all that's going to be baked beans, chicken and dumplings, all double recipe. All made in my little, my little space here. Like I say, I'm going to do a video probably next week before Thanksgiving come up. The how you organize your time and space. You, I can actually feed probably 200 people in my house in this one little space. You don't need a big kitchen. It's the way you organize your time and your space. And you can do amazing things. And y'all see me do it on a daily basis. So anyway, I'll come back once I get to the macaroni and cheese all panned up and show you that. And then I got to get out of here and go pick up these t-shirts. I'll be right back. Alright y'all, we back. Macaroni and cheese is ready. It is 8.43. I'm definitely about to get out of here. I had to knock this out. Like I said, it didn't take 30 minutes to do this from beginning to end. Make my cheese sauce takes 10 minutes. Boiling the noodles take another 10 minutes. Putting together doesn't take long at all. So old school mac and cheese, five cheese mac and cheese. Of course, y'all have seen the video on that before. Like I said, I'm doubling every recipe. Normally in West Virginia would come this much, but I doubled it and get two because I want to make sure I have enough food for everybody. So uh, coming right along, one thing I gotta do, three more things, meaty baked beans, baked lemon chicken, and the, uh, and the uh, most popular dish probably there, chicken and dumplings. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go get these t-shirts, I got so much to do, not only the cooking, I gotta get my DJ stuff set up for the music and mic, I gotta get my giveaway stuff, I'm giving away jellies, jams, chow chow, uh, preserves, spices, my shakes, T-shirts, caps, all that gonna give away. So if y'all missing a old school soul food meet and greet, like I said, I love y'all. This is my day to serve y'all, and uh, appreciate y'all watching me. And this is just the day I'm gonna try to make the whole tour. I know Dallas is in two weeks, and I think I got Memphis after that in December, and then that's all for the this year. And then I got a lot. I think I got uh, New York. I have to look at my schedule. New York in January, and then. I might change that one to about March because my, my public said, you want to you go to New York in January in the cold? I said, we might want to flip that with Atlanta and go to Atlanta in January, but we'll look at it. But anyway, I'll be back. I'm about to get in the vehicle, get in my car, go get my get my t-shirts out the box, and I'll be right back, all right? All right, y'all, I am back again here. I'm out of the kitchen. Like I said, I got to go around down here to actually seek a ranch with my old school soul food address business address is and i need to pick up my uh i got some t-shirts been in there all week i know what they are i have a special little design t-shirts to give away tonight and uh and uh that's pretty much it get back to the house and uh finish uh cooking and uh get this thing out i got uh it's right now it's nine o'clock have eight hours to get this done. The event started at six, but I'll get there at five and get everything set up. But yeah, I got eight hours to bring this up, and that's all good. For me, in eight hours, I can do a lot in eight hours. Uh, Y'all probably already know that, but yeah. And I'll take a nap in between, and then I'll probably a couple of hours sleep. So yeah, so anyways, I'll be back once I get my t shirts out the box and uh, get head back to the house. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I said, I just got my uh, t-shirts. I got one big bag here, another bag here. T-shirts here. Yeah. So, I got about, I think it's like 25 t-shirts in these bags. I got another bag at home I got the other day. So, I had them specially made and um, produced for my meeting greet. So, like I said, if you're coming out, of course, it'll be after the video. If you don't come out, you won't see the video till Sunday. Meeting greeting today was a Saturday, but if you came out and got a t-shirt in my uh, little raffle thing, I hope you appreciate it. I know you do. Some of y'all probably already got t-shirts already that you can get on Amazon or you can get off Teesprings. I think they're a little bit cheaper on Amazon, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway... I will be back once I get to the house. I probably 
next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta get the mini baked beans put together. That's easy because the beans are already made. Come out of the can. I just dock them up. You, I know y'all seen the video on that before. I just add some uh, nice uh, kielbasa smoked sausage in that. Some mustard, a little barbecue sauce, brown sugar, with your shot sauce, little liquid smoke. Bacon oven for an hour. You got to cover with some bacon. Bacon oven for an hour. You got some awesome baked beans. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get that out the way. Then all I gotta do is the baked chicken, which ain't no big deal. You just season that up. A little salt and pepper, a little cabin, a little uh, old school shake, stuck steam shake. And then put it in the oven. 45 minutes, an hour, that's ready. But the hardest thing, it's not hard, but the most time consuming thing is the chicken and dumplings. That's gonna be the last thing I do because I gotta make sure they're hot when they go over there. So anyway, I will see y'all once I get back to the house and uh, go to the next step. Thanks for riding along on this Old school meet and greet, Katy, Texas today. See y'all this later. Okay, y'all, I'm back here. It's about 1.17 here. I took, I got home around 10 o'clock. What did I do when I got home? I finished something here. Oh, I prepped my baked bean, barbecue baked bean. I took a two hour nap and that's all the sleep I'm gonna get until probably 10 o'clock tonight. But I got my meaty baked beans just come out the oven, look at that. This is always a hit, even at my house, so I hope it's a hit tonight. Lemon chicken about to go in the oven. It's not ready, but I got it all prepped up. I'm famous for my lemon chicken, y'all. You got to taste this. If you're ever around, hope you can taste it today. If you're not, maybe you can taste it another meat and grease. My lemon chicken, baked lemon chicken is amazing. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get that in the oven. And while the lemon chicken is baking in the oven, I got a... Uh, Box up the rest of my dessert because my dessert's gonna be already boxed up in individual boxes where the people can just take them and go like that. But all this other food gonna be served. All my so old school soul food family members will be served by my uh, awesome staff. So, yeah, so anyway, I will be back here in about maybe an hour once the chicken is going on for the chicken and dumpling. That's the only thing I got left to do bake the chicken off, get the dumplings in, they're gonna be put all this thing together. Get packed up and get it to the venue. So I will be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And look at this, chicken and dumplings is on. This is the last thing I gotta do. I got two big old pots here. All I gotta do is, uh... Hold on here, y'all. Hold on here, y'all. Got my chicken here, I gotta pick off. That's the chicken. I gotta pick it off, put it back in here. And I might, like I say, tighten this up just a little, but might not have to do that but nice old school homemade chicken and dumpling I got my uh, lemon chicken I want to cover it up but I'll show y'all later once I get over there and set up the buffet I got my baked beans in here lemon chicken in here chicken and dumpling I got my mac and cheese in the oven right now coming up the temperature I got my brisket and the ribs coming up the temperature all I gotta do is put my glazed sweet potatoes in the oven get them back up the temperature and we'd be ready to roll out. I put all the cakes and pies, not pies, cakes, cobbler and pudding in the con separate container. And it is 3.06. So I'm going to leave here around 4.30. And I can be there at 5 so I can get set up. The venue is really 10 minutes from my house. So anyway, I'll be back once I get out of here and head out. And we'll go from there. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, chicken and dumplings. Look at that. Now you ready? Two big old pans, old school chicken and dumplings. Nice and creamy, lots of chicken in there, lots of dumplings. So this meal is complete, y'all. It's 3.22, I'm an hour ahead, I'm leaving my house at 4.30. So all I gotta do is get dressed, uh, pack up, uh, do a little couple of things to kind of bring all this together, but all the food is ready. Everything is ready and I did it all in pretty much one day. So like I say, I'm gonna do a video first of next week uh up coming to the holiday season to give y'all uh, hints and tips on how to do things ahead of time and how to get meals like i said i'm feeding all these people i don't know how many people gonna show up but none of this food's coming back to my house if i have to give it to the neighborhood as i drive through tonight but to show y'all how to do all this like i said i got chicken and dumpling lemon chicken barbecue ribs barbecue brisket glazed sweet potato macaroni and cheese Meaty baked beans, potato, uh, uh, sweet uh, uh, banana pudding, peach cobbler, coconut, I mean coconut cake, German chocolate cake, and pineapple cake, all done.
for the for the meet and greet. Did it all in this kitchen right here. So anyway, I'll be back once I get to the venue. I may I'm on my way to the venue, and we'll go from there. Looking forward. Family. <laughs> All right, we'll be back, y'all. My mind is just as sharp as a tack, and uh, it's sad me sometimes when I see people's parents fading away and don't remember them when they call them. But when I call my mom, she knows me and stuff like that. And that even though she's not boo, but she got her mind and she can forget things, you know. I remember stuff I forgot. But she is my inspiration, and uh, when I was a kid, I used to be under her hand and feet. And, and the cafes, as they call them back in the day, people work in cafes, they don't call them restaurants back then. And before I could go to school, three or four years old, I was in there with her. I remember like those yesterday, sitting on a green table. If you ever worked in a restaurant, they used to have pimples coming in a large green bucket. And I used to sit in the kitchen back watching them cook while I eat all these pimples all day long in the pickle bucket, watching them eat cook hamburgers and stuff like that. But that was inspiration for me, and she was patient with me, and taught me as much as she could, and I just knew at a young age that's what I wanted to do. Even though I grew up in a country on a farm, I grew up to hunt fish and all that, raise cows and all, I know how to do that too, because my love is cooking in the inside. And when I grew up in the 70s, men and boys cooking is no-no. I mean, you call you 65 doing that. It ain't like today, when men is, you know, big time chefs, but I grew up in the, where they make fun of you cooking in the kitchen and stuff like that. But like I tell him now, I got them people that, uh, uh, like I tell my brother, he say the same thing. People that made fun of me then, all I say is look at me now. That's all I say. Yep. <laughs> Even when I, this old school so quick journey, and let me tell you the history of it, how it started, it started pretty much 2000 and, this is 2021, it really started in 2012. And then I really launched it in 2015. And it was a co-worker, she told me, it was around this time of year, I should put re uh, recipes on mine. But she's like my turkey and dressing and came to the song. I said, Jerry, why don't you create a page and, uh, and uh, so we can do it. So I said, yeah, I'll create a page. So I had my friends on my friend list. Uh, going like the page. I had like maybe three or four hundred people and that's how the page started. And little by little we get a little traction, a little traction. And like they say, like the Bible say, be not weary the way I'm doing because you'll reap if you think not. So it was just a lot of struggle. And they say, this thing is not getting no traction. I've been frustrated. But July of 2018, I put homemade ice cream on my channel, on my Facebook page, and it blew up. That one recipe, and I didn't say anything, another thing about my Facebook page, I'm shy at heart, I don't like to talk because, like I say, I was made fun of as a kid, even as I was growing up, my country, all your country, you say y'all no more, and I say to the same people, look at me now. This y'all is taking me to another level that I never thought I would achieve by being myself, because God, it's like God was telling me, you need to do what I want you to do with what I got you with. And this is what I bless you with, you need to do. So, um, going forward here, Facebook grew up. I went from like, maybe 1,200 people to like 4,000, and then that's all you need. Facebook algorithms see that, and keep growing and growing and growing, and to the day, I think last time I checked, Facebook today got 345,000 followers right now. Yeah. yeah. That's not 
the end of the journey. Because I was kind of thinking, okay, I'm gonna sit back and be satisfied with Facebook, that's it. I said, no, 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 I want some more. I'm not through. So I was in the cafeteria at my job. This 19 year old kid, you don't know the impact he made on me. I was talking about Facebook. He said, look, Jeff Gentry, you need to go to YouTube. YouTube, you get more exposure. I said, YouTube, I, I mean, I watch YouTube, I never think of YouTube. But I'm not, like I say, I'm not one to get on camera and talk and all that. But I was still had that in me, like, I, I, well, anybody want to hear no old country boy talking like that? So, I went to YouTube, 2000 and, 2019, June, May, May of 2019, I launched my first video on YouTube. Of course, I took a lot of advice on the YouTubers, what to do, I had no idea what camera, how to talk, what lighting, what to do. You, I just, I'm doing this all by here. I'm getting advice from other YouTubers, which they have a lot. YouTube is one big happy family. Of the we grow, everybody grow. So, and just little by little, I got a thousand. I got a thousand subscribers. Little by little, 2000, in the two, the coming 2020. Now, 2000 and this is 1920, this is 21, okay. By uh, November of 2019, that was during the holiday season. Then it started getting a little bit more traction when the Thanksgiving stuff took off. So I got up to 10,000 subscribers. I said, wow, 10,000. That I means 10,000 means you start selling t-shirts and all that. I said, oh, this is awesome. You two are starting to take notice. So 2020, I said, I got to that rut too much rut. Well, I just like frustrated and said, well, I get a hundred, you know, likes, hundred views, two views, or whatever. And people like the YouTube would tell me, you got to get it because you love God. I love that. I cook every day. So, long story short, May, June, July, throughout the summer, got 15, 20,000. Last year, November 2020, YouTube sent me an email. I didn't really notice it until that Friday. They're going to make me clear all the freedom. He's a motivational speaker, right? Or he's a minister? Yeah. He made my Blackberry feel it copy. And he shouted me out. When he did that, you know, this man got over, had over a million followers. My YouTube, my Instagram blew up. I didn't know what was going on with all these notifications. I had to turn the notifications up. He shouted me out. He said, he said, oh, so so fool. Now, oh, Lord, at first he said, Lord, forgive me because I have sinned. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was made that black bird color, that hot man ice cream, and my Instagram. So I owe him for letting my Instagram. Wow. Now, once I go over, I'm going to be saying what's going to happen in the future because this, this, this thing is not, this, I'm a, this, this is the first y'all about to hear what I'm about to tell you. So this journey, God got a, you know, like my brother said, God got a reason for me doing this. My goal, if it's not going to happen, I'm going to put it I'm within a three to five year goal. It's a three, that is my goal. This right here, like I tell my brother, he said, this is going to do it right here. It's brand. My brand, like I say, I, when I go places, I take no money. I do everything. I mean, everybody know YouTube and Facebook, you get money from them. I take that and put it elderly, can't get on the weekend from their little trucks and stuff that help them. It's only money to find it. I did a lot of research on it, and then it'll be open doing something. That's my goal in the next three to five years. I'm working on it, there's some legalities in it. I got some training working on it, but it's going to be donation only. If you don't have the money, just come in. It's going to be one, one meal a day, a half meal a day, and that's fine. I just got to find a place and stuff like that. To do it. That's my goal. And I think God put me on this dirt to help people minister to food. That's my talent and that's what I'm going to use. I tell people, everybody get done, give everybody a talent. It's up to you. It's just taking me to, I don't call it a dream, but sometimes dreams don't come true. I call them goals. Yes. I don't call all oh, this a dream. I don't need the dreams. I need the goals.